Hey everybody, Ann here, and today, yeah, it is another cold day, but the sun is out and it's going to warm up, so I'm just sitting here on my porch drinking my coffee with all of you, thinking about my day, and I'm going to show you the plants in a little bit, but I'm just going to tell you right now, they're toast. <laughs> they are done. I am basically going to have to start all over again. But you know what? That's life. That's the way it goes. And I don't know if any of you are like me and I'm prone to bouts of depression. Seriously, the only way I can get out of a, a funk, and I've been in a funk lately. Seriously, my energy level has been low. I think it's been the weather, um, you know, and just whatnot. But the way that I get out of it is I just fill my days with something that I love to do. So that's what I'm going to do today. And I love doing my little projects around this little fledgling growing homestead. So that's what I'm going to do because if I don't keep moving, if I don't stay active, you know, my joints are going to freeze up for one. Um, more movement and exercise helps that joint pain. So that's what I'm going to do. And it also helps increase you know, the positive chemicals and endorphins in your system that control thought and mood. So if you're feeling down, get some exercise, do something you love, and just keep going. So that's what I'm going to do. Well, first of all, let's show you the plants. Mm -mm -mm. Well, that was basil. That was basil. That was basil. That was basil. They're all dead. So I'm just going to pull them out. And uh, I actually don't have any more, I don't have any more basil seeds. So I am just going to plant more chives. We'll have chives all over the top. So these are, there's no point in trying to get them to keep going because I could plant whole new plants by the time any of these plants were covered. Um, just because it would just take too much energy for the plants to try and heal themselves and more than likely They would turn out stunted in some way. So All right, I've already examined this bed. This is the green peppers. There's nothing growing there. This is the yellow banana peppers and Yep Got a little sproutling right there and uh, I think that's all so that one's still doing okay. Over here is the red peppers. Oh, look, look. We've got that one coming up. We've got this one coming up. And we've got, it's gonna be real hard for you to see, you guys. Let's see if I can get out of the sun. We've got another one coming up right there. So three are coming up over here, so that's good. Let's see here. Oh, check that out. See that? I think there's an old lady tree growing. <gasps> Petty! Stop eating the soil! <laughs> yeah, so there's nothing coming up in the jalapeno bin. Come on, get back. Tomatoes. Toast. We're getting rid of them. Dead. These tomatoes, also dead. I do have a few more tomato seeds left, so I will be planting some more tomatoes there. This is all basil, nothing's coming up. Now, there's a couple in here that might survive, but like I said, they're probably going to be stunted. They probably won't produce very good fruits, so they're all coming out. And I will plant more. Let's go over here. Yep, this one is absolutely 100% dead. So, I'll plant something else in there. These beans. You know, I, I might could trim, trim these leaves off and hope that the little secondary leaves that are coming in will grow. But same with the others. They're just too damaged. Same with all of the cucumbers. They're, they're basically just catastrophically damaged by the frost. So, I will be pulling all of them up. They're all coming out. I can just put these on the compost pile. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if they started growing? But yeah, they're all just going to come out and uh, I will get some more bean seeds and I will plant some more 
All right, so let me just get these. Yeah, let me get these all pulled out, and then we'll go on to the next thing. Tomatoes are next. Yep, I'm going to use up all the rest of my tomato seed. Plant a few plants here, a few over here, and I don't know about that. I don't know if I'm going to put a tomato in that or not. We'll just have to wait and see. I got three or four seeds in there, three or four seeds in there, just planted about a quarter inch deep. Put some mulchy stuff over it. There we go. Uh, four or five seeds in there. I'm just going to plant in one central location because I think I'm out of potato seed, or uh, not potato, tomato seeds. So hopefully one, two, three, three tomato plants. I don't know why I've got potatoes on the mind. You know what? I wonder, I wonder if that's a sign. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I was going to throw this away, but I shook it a little bit and looked down in there. There are more tomato seeds, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do another tomato planter. Sticks, leaves, and soil. Yeah, I'm taking it out of this bin. Why, you ask? Well, it's already got the hummus and the compost um, stuff, soil and whatnot mixed in it. And I'm going to use this for something else, but I need some of that soil to come out. So, I'm just going to fill this up with most of this soil, and this will be a surprise for later. Tomato seeds are in, and I kind of did a trench this time, a long one. My goal is, like the other ones, to only grow one tomato plant in here. But, you know what, if, if more sprout, and they grow, and they don't get frozen, and if I don't neglect them, Maybe I can transplant them into another planter later if they're healthy. Alrighty, so this is already very moist soil. I'm going to go ahead and water it later along with everything else. Guess where I just went, guys? Can you see it? Tractor Supply Company. And I bought some stuff. I love that place. It just cheers me up so much. I got some seeds, I got some cucumbers, and some new beans. And you know what? I am going to try to plant some carrots. I've got an extra planter that I need to prepare, so I'm going to plant those. Oh, and I also, see that down there? That's my big old propane tank. I got that filled for, it was like four dollars and some odd cents. Hardly anything at all. And normally the one pound tanks cost almost four dollars. So I am going to save a lot of money with this big tank. And I bought some longer screws and some chicken wire. That's going to be another project. I don't know if I'll get to it today. Do any of you know what it is? You think you know what I'm going to build? Let me know in the comments section. The first thing I'm going to do without any further delay is replant the beans and replant the cucumbers. I got Burpee's Cucumber Straight 8 and they were on sale actually so I figured you know what I'm going to give these a try. They say that they're very hearty and they're very tasty. And then the beans are going to be Burpee Stringless Green Pod and these are supposed to be bush beans too. So I'm going to plant a row of cucumbers just like I had before and two rows of beans. Burpee says to plant four to six seeds every three inches. I've actually given them a little bit more space. So I put six inches in each of the, uh, or six seeds in each of the 11 spots. I think it's 11 spots. And I'm just gonna cover them up and see how they do. I gotta water them too. And check this out. These seeds cost a little bit more, but there is two, three times as many seeds in here so I'm still gonna have plenty of seeds that I can plant somewhere else so let me just cover these up and then get the beans in. Check these out they're like brown garden beans burpee stringless green pod huh interesting so I'm just gonna put them in all of the 12 holes and hopefully they will sprout quickly. Beans are all in and I used up all of the seeds I put two seeds in most of them just in case they were on sale so that's that makes me happy so I'm just gonna firm these up cover them up and then I'm gonna plant something else and you know what I don't see why I can't plant or at least try to plant a row of carrots right down the middle and so we've got the cucumbers over here 
the beans over here. I've got another dedicated planter that I'm going to put some, some carrots in. But I'm just going to see if I can plant a few of these carrot seeds in this planter and see how they do. It's been ages since I planted carrots, basically since my childhood. So I'm just making a shallow little trench and I'm just going to kind of sprinkle seeds all the way down the middle of it, just very thinly, very lightly, and then cover them up. I scattered the seeds as thinly and evenly as I could, but, you know, it's probably not perfect. I'm just going to cover them up, kind of lightly firm the soil a little bit. In a minute here, after I get done with everything, I am going to come back and water these babies. And this planter is complete, except for the water. Last bucket. Got my little holes in the side gonna fill it with sticks and twigs and leaves and then hummus and soil and then I'm gonna turn this into a carrot planter and here's my carrot bucket all I've done is just kind of push some of the soil off to the side and just kind of scattered seeds down in there I don't know how this is gonna work so uh, I guess I'll just thin them out hopefully if they sprout and then I'm just gonna kind of cover up cover them up with soil and hopefully they'll all be all nice and covered up and the good thing is is I've still got plenty plenty of soil I mean not yeah soil but I've also got plenty of carrot seeds left so I don't think you're supposed to plant these very deep at first um, I've just kind of got a, so a little bit of layer of soil over the top of it and this soil is already very moist but I'm gonna go ahead and water all the new things that I've planted really well so hopefully I will get some more veggies. I got the carrots planted, I've got the new beans, the new cucumbers planted, the carrots are right there <laughs> and they're also in that big bed too so hopefully everything's gonna sprout even if it doesn't it it makes me abundantly happy just to have done this today it just lifts my spirit and my mood is so much better because I did something I love. Now, tomorrow, I don't know if I'm gonna love it so much because I'm gonna have to do something. I mean, I don't have to, but I should do something I don't really wanna do, and that is insulation. I gotta get it done, you guys. I have to get it done. Anyway, it's been a good day, so that's all I got for you guys. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.